my welcome to BSW there and now here is your host BSW <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the leader of BSWville is back and today I'm going to review this year's WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view event where we all said farewell to one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time and one of my all-time favorites, the dead man, the phenom, the undertaker. I'll talk more about that later. But first, I've got to talk about the matches. So let's do it. First up, the five-on-five -five men's Survivor Series elimination tag team match. Team Raw, the self-proclaimed team captain, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Sheamus, the limitless Keith Lee, the monster on my men, Braun Strowman, and Matt Riddle versus Team SmackDown, Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and ooh yeah, Otis. Seth Rollins got in the match, but then he turned to his team and said, for the greater good. And he just got down on both of his knees and allowed Sheamus to bro kick him and eliminate him from the match. Is this WWE's way of writing him off TV so he can be a father to his child? I guess so. Well, I do wish Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch the very best of luck on becoming parents. But back to the match, Braun Strowman took out Team SmackDown. And Matt Riddle didn't really tag in Sheamus because I didn't see Matt Riddle's hand touching Sheamus to make the tag legal. I'm just saying, I saw what I saw. But in the end, Team Raw won. And it was a clean sweep. Because Team SmackDown didn't eliminate one member of Team Raw. Not one. All five members of Team Raw survived. So they were all sole survivors. Okay. It was an okay match. It wasn't the best match of the night. It was okay. Three out of five. Moving on. Next. Our world famous 10 time WWE World Tag Team Champions, The New Day, taking on the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, The Street Profits. The New Day came out in their Gears of War outfit, which looked really cool. And the Street Profits, well, they just wanted. The smoke. And guess what? They got the smoke because they defeated the New Day. Getting the victory for SmackDown. And during the match, Kofi Kingston grabbed one of the Street Profits' red cups and just kicked it. And Montez Ford did his own version of the Trouble in Paradise to Kofi Kingston, which was okay. But again, the match was fun to watch. It was okay. It wasn't great, but it was all right. So I gave it a three out of five. Next, the United States champion, Bobby Lashley, representing the Hurt Business, taking on the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Which championship is better, the United States Championship or the Intercontinental Championship? Duh! The United States Championship, because the new Intercontinental Championship is bad. Ooh, it is bad. I like the Intercontinental Championship better when it had the white strapped belt. When it was white. I like that Intercontinental Championship. Bring that title back. Get rid of 
the new Intercontinental Championship. It is crap. I hate the new Intercontinental Championship. I hate it. But whatever. And of course, Sami Zayn wasn't going to win because Bobby Lashley had his Hurt Business Boys, MVP, Shelton Benjamin, and Cedric Alexander in his corner. Sami Zayn had nobody. And Sami Zayn kept trying to escape. Like, he tried to get Bobby Lashley DQ'd or something, and then he tripped on MVP. But in the end, Bobby Lashley got the win for Team Raw. Two out of five. The match wasn't that good. Two out of five. Then after that match, we went backstage and saw the Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, with Paul Heyman confronting Jey Uso about his failure in the 5-on-5 Men's Survivor Series Elimination Tag Team match. He says, I wasn't asking for excuses. You lost. And if you can't get these guys to respect us, then you don't have a place at the table. You know what? Just get out of here. Go find your brother and get out of my arena. Because I don't have time for losers. Not tonight. And yes, Jimmy Uso made an appearance. Roman Reigns, he had to get ready for his match with the WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre. I'll get to that match later. But next, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka, taking on the SmackDown Women's Champion, the boss, Sasha Banks. Asuka and Sasha Banks, two of WWE's current best female superstars. I love them both. I'm a fan of both of them. But in the end, Sasha Banks got the victory for SmackDown. The match was okay. So three out of five for that one. And then we saw the gobbledygooker uh, pinning our truth and capturing the 24-7 title. And then he went backstage and followed the bird seed trail and got pinned by the ninja Akira Tozawa. Uh, and then Akira Tozawa got hit in the back by our truth who had a bag of bird seeds and our truth got his baby back. I love our truth. He is the greatest 24 7, 48 7, 7 11, I 95 South European TV champion in WWE history. And to me, he is the only good thing about the 24 7 title. But that segment was. I hated it. Moving on, the 5-on-5 five five Women's Survivor Series Elimination Tag Team Match. Team Raw, the Women's Tag Team Champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, Peyton Royce, Lacey Evans, and Lana versus Team SmackDown, Bayley, Natalia, Liv Morgan, Ruby Ryan, and the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Lana was able to participate in the match for a while, but then later got kicked out by Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. And then they made her stand on the steps for the rest of the match. And while Lana was standing on the steps, Ruby Riot knocked out. Shayna Baszler disqualified. Bianca Belair, Nia Jax. Both got counted out. In the end, everybody got eliminated. Except Lana. Because she was still standing on the steps. So she 
was the sole survivor, and she got the victory for Team Raw. And Nia Jax was looking all shocked and angry. Nia Jax has nobody to blame for that but herself and Shayna Baszler. Because that's what they get from making her stand on the steps. That's what they get. That's what they get for being stupid. The Women's Survivor Series Elimination Tag Team match wasn't good. It was okay. So, three out of five of that one. <sighs> Moving on. The WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre, taking on the Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. This, I'll say, was a good match. Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, they both gave it their all. Roman Reigns hit Drew McIntyre with a spear through the barricade. For some reason, Michael Cole called it a wall. I don't know why, because a barricade is not a wall. A barricade is a barricade. And then Roman Reigns speared Drew McIntyre again inside the ring, but Drew McIntyre kicked out. Drew McIntyre hit Roman Reigns with a claymore, but that caused Roman Reigns to knock the referee out of the ring. And that allowed Jey Uso to come out and help his cousin Roman Reigns win the match. And, of course, get the victory for SmackDown. It was good. It wasn't awesome, but it was okay. So, three out of five. And then, the moment we have all been waiting for. The Undertaker's final farewell. Where all these guys came out to pay their respects. To the Undertaker, Shane McMahon, The Big Show, JBL, Jeff Hardy, Mick Foley, The Godfather, The Godwins, Zavio Vega, Rikishi, Kevin Nash, Booker T, one of The Undertaker's greatest opponents and rivals, Shawn Michaels, The Heartbreak Kid, The Nature Boy, woo, Ric Flair, another one of The Undertaker's all-time greatest opponents and rivals, Triple H, The Game, his brother, Kane, and of course the chairman himself, Mr. McMahon. And then the tribute video played, and we got to see The Undertaker's manager, the late, great Paul Bearer. Oh, yes! Rest in peace, Paul Bearer. And then finally, The Undertaker came out and said that his time came. It was time for him to let The Undertaker rest in peace. Hashtag thank you, Taker. So The Undertaker may be retired now, but one thing's for sure. His legacy will never rest in peace. And of course, the Battle Royal on the kickoff show, The Miz won by last eliminating Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio thought he won, but he didn't. He never eliminated The Miz. The Miz eliminated him, got the victory for Raw. I didn't really see that match. Didn't care for it. Whatever. So overall, this year's Survivor Series gets a, to be fair... 5 out of 10. It wasn't great. It wasn't awesome. It doesn't get two thumbs up. It doesn't even get one thumb up. It just gets a meh. The best match? Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns. Either that or the New Day versus the Street Profits. The worst match besides the Battle Royal on the kickoff show? Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. And that'll end my review for this year's WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view event. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What match did you like the most, the least? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, join VSWville, and invite all of your wrestling friends to do the same.
With all that said, God bless. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Welcome to VSW Zilla. I'm a pro wrestling fan forever, and that's the bottom line. Why? Because VSW said so. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!